Lassa fever is an arena virus and viral hemorrhagic fever that is caused by rats. Lassa fever is predominantly found in West Africa in the regions of Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Liberia, and Guinea. The Lassa fever can do a wide range of damage. The Lassa fever virus is a virus that anyone can acquire, so young people as well as old people and anyone in between are susceptible. This virus was discovered in the 1950s and officially named the Lassa fever in 1969 when two missionary nurses died of the Lassa fever in Lassa, Nigeria. Every year, the Lassa virus affects anywhere from 100,000 to 500,000 people and causes about 5,000 deaths annually in the West African region. Studies have shown that Lassa virus peaks between the dry and rainy seasons and then decreases as the rainy season progresses because travel is difficult. After receiving the virus, the incubation period is between 6 and 21 days, but it is still excreted from the body through the urine for 3 to 9 weeks after being infected and in semen for up to 3 months. Symptoms include fever, weakness, headache, sore throat, diarrhea, muscle pain, vomiting, and abdominal pain. And in more severe cases, there can be facial swelling, fluid in the lungs, and in less than one-third of the cases, they get hemorrhagic bleeding. Additionally, deafness occurs in 25-33% to 33 of people infected with loss of fever. Overall, the fatality rate of this disease is 1% for all who receive loss of fever. In hospitalized patients, the mortality rate is between 15 and 20%. Approximately 80% of those infected only have mild symptoms, but the other 20% have severe symptoms and can die within 14 days of being infected. The host and carrier of the Lassa virus is the rat, which is very common to the West African region and found largely in the rural areas. These rats are of the genus Mastemis, and they are such a problem with this disease because the rats breed rapidly and colonize human homes. The virus is transmitted from rat to person as well as from person to person. Humans can get the disease from rats through exposure to their feces or urine. Additionally, these rats are used as a food source by the West African people, so it can be transmitted by eating the rats. Humans can also receive the virus from other humans by becoming in contact with infected blood, tissue, or any other bodily fluids. It can also be spread by contaminated medical equipment in hospitals. Currently, there is no vaccine to present Lassa virus, but there is an antiviral drug called ribavirin that has greatly helped to reduce the severeness of the virus if given within 6-10 to 10 days of becoming infected. Ribavirin is almost twice as effective when given intravenously rather than orally. A study showed that if ribavirin is given intravenously within the first 6 days of becoming infected, the mortality rate is reduced by 90%. To help rid the Western African region of the Lassa virus, decreasing the rodent population is of the greatest concern. Killing the rats or trapping them, as well as keeping them out of homes, are ways of reducing transmission of the disease. Also, encouraging people not to eat the rats will help. In hospitals, measures such as wearing protective clothing like gloves and masks and sterilizing equipment that was used on infected patients should also be taken. The discovery of the antiviral drug ribavirin has greatly helped against the fight against any Lassa fever epidemic. Current and future research will hopefully find a vaccine that will end any more outbreaks of the Lassa fever virus for generations to come.